I guess I edited too much of the intro from yesterday, so now we're, we're not moving. We have people coming to look at the house for like repairs, for maintenance stuff. I thought I talked about it in the vlog before this one with the home show. Did I mention that? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> I don't know anymore. But um, like over here in the basement, we have water that comes in next to uh, this thing. I think that's bad, right? You probably don't want water coming over here, so someone has to come look at that. You know, really fun stuff like that, because when you own a home, you get lots of new expenses. So that's a thing. I know that this was in an earlier vlog when Mia thought she heard water. Well, the good news is, there's a great shot of Mia's butt. It's totally dry up here. The bad news is, Mia thought she heard dripping. I don't see any dripping. I wonder if it's just, you know, this metal vent. Right. It's loud, and there's something dripping directly on that. Good news, good news. No, please, no, no roof replacing. We wouldn't have to do the whole roof, right? Okay. We had a roof guy come. Uh, we also looked at the gutters. So anyway, I won't bore you with that too much. But that's that's who's coming. But since we do have people coming today to look in the basement, I gotta kind of clean up a little bit down here. So that's what we're gonna do now, because this none of this stuff really has a home until those shelves get built. So I, I think it's time to do that. So today we've got another boogeyman coming, Mittens. Are you ready? What do you have to say about that? No? Really? It's gonna be here in 20 minutes. Yep, 20 minutes. So you better go hide. Boogeyman's here, Mittens! That's incredible that he knows. He's already hiding in the closet and the guy's still in the car. My aunt had a dog who would hide when the dog groomer came. Before the car, like, they would just pull up in front of the house and the dog was already hiding. I don't know how some animals know. <laughs> he really, he understands. So there's been some issues with water running down this wall. So this crack has gotten bigger since we moved in. At the top is where it's really starting to separate. That's good, right? Mia's surprisingly calm at these numbers. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit... You'll freak in, out later. I'm a little bit in shock just from all of the expenses lately. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's another beautiful day if you don't count the uh, piling up of expenses. Beautiful spring day. <laughs> and we need stuff, so here we go. How are we going to pay for it? I don't know. It's time for Wegmans. Drowning our sorrows in the enormous Wegmans $10 pizza. Hey, Goose! Hey, Goose! Hey, Goose! That was the most unconfrontational Goose. Home Depot. This time it's not for art supplies, it's for other stuff. Beautiful, look at that. Wow. Oh, and these people have it too. Huh. So what does that mean for us? I think it's the last scary number. Okay, so that's our last quote of the day. <laughs> Doing good. All right, I'll ask. Hey, Mochi. Mochi. <laughs> would you like some fancy feast? You, you would? Some fancy feast? Fancy feast? Would you like some fancy feast? Would you like some fancy feast? Would you like some fancy feast? Fancy feast? Fancy feast! <laughs> fancy feast? Okay, fancy feast time. Go on, Mia. Let her have it. Oh, Meow. Meow. A fancy feast. It's coming your way, Mochi. So, that's where we are at the moment. We've been doing this since Saturday. Today's Tuesday. So, what do we have? Uh, 40, almost $80,000 worth of clothes today? Something like that? That's just from today. More than that. More than that? Yeah. With or without the... Because it would have been 60, 70... It would have been close to 100000 before the, the discounts. Right. We don't, we don't have an extra 100000 laying around. I gave that to Julie last time she was here. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> ay ay ay. I mean, we, we didn't think owning a home was going to be cheap, but this well exceeds anything we were really... You live and you learn, I guess, right? I don't know that all of this... Like, how do we know that we can trust it? We don't. So Mia... Mia went on Google and found a structural engineer that I think is going to be our next. Well, that's what Google recommends to determine if you have a problem that's really serious. So, yeah, you pay a fee for them to come out and inspect your home, but they, you know, they're not performing the service. Right, so they're not trying to fix. Because so. we, we had an inspector who looked at that same crack when he was here back in 2017, and he did point it out. He said, you'll probably want to have somebody epoxy something it, but he, he didn't think that was going to be a $30,000 basement system. The point is, it's, it's getting a little, a little exhausting and stressful. We, our, kind of yeah, our budget for this stuff is approximately zero. We it's, really need to replace a roof because, you know, we're getting leaks, then we'll, we'll find a way to finance it somehow, but. Right. But it's gonna be really... when we bought the house, we were obviously led to believe that that wasn't something we were going to have to do within the first year of living here. We're still working on other stuff for the channel, in be the other channel, in between these meetings that keep happening. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, maybe we just at the end of the consultations, maybe we'll just add up, we'll just add up the total of what we... That would be interesting. Right? We've, we've by now been quoted several hundred thousand dollars for home repairs. Right. Oh. Well, thank you, Aaron. Uh... Hopefully as many as possible. I'd like to get as many Zords on that wall as I can. We'll see. Well, that's good, because I don't think I can change my mind. The shelves are going to be white. So that's good. But I can make the wall any color I want. Oh, oh, Team Mia. Take it back. Oh, fine. I'll be nice. Oh, you got lucky twice. You should play the lottery. <laughs> don't take that advice. Or maybe. Maybe you should. Maybe we should play the lottery. I actually don't think I explain the wall very well, because sometimes, like, I don't know. That's why like, I worry about unedited rants, because sometimes I, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I say the wrong thing, it just doesn't come out the way I'm thinking it. Like, I cut something, and then other things don't make sense because this other thing was missing, but I still want it. Uh, anyway. What are you laughing, Mia? You're very rambly. Mia? Unedited rants would take, like, five hours. You're going to get a spanking. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe people want to see five hours of Bruno. A hey, spanking is what you're going to get, Mia. <laughs> On your butt! Got nothing to say to that. Oh, man. Okay, so this is what I would be painting. I'd be painting it one solid color, because anything other than that would be a big giant headache. And what, now I'm down to nine days, right? I still have to figure out. So picture kind of like an Ikea shelf. It'll be white like this, and then I'd build my scenery and put my things on it. And there's gonna be no back, so Instead of this, that'll be the wall, and that would be blue. So that'd be like a sky. I could put my dirt, mountain, city, whatever goes. You know, it's going to be like compartments like this. It's not going to be straight across like before. Unfortunately, they can't do it that way, so I will have these. But they're going to be 20 inches deep, and it's going to be like 36 inches wide. So bigger than this. Uh, and these will be adjustable, which is nice. So, you know, I'll have to get creative. I can't do it exactly like before, but it'll be, it'll be different. So... I can have a sky here, and sky goes good behind city, mountain, whatever you want to make it. There's usually a sky, so that would be blue. This will be white, but then I'll still be covering it. So, I mean, you'll still see white here, but, you know, this will probably be foam or some other thing. So, that's, that's that. All right, I think it is our bedtime. It is a little after 11, so I'm going to end here. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it wasn't the most thrilling vlog again. Uh... Hopefully better vlogs will come. Hopefully, uh, maybe we'll win the lottery. That's what we need. If anybody has any good uh, winning lottery numbers, let me know. <laughs> any, uh, yeah, if you know any specific horses that might be faster than others that are racing it, like the Meadowlands or anything? No. I used to go to the track with my dad as a kid. <laughs> my mom loved that. Want a treat? Want a treat? Good boy. Oh, Mochi, where did you... <laughs> you just have to say the word and, and like Mochi poofs in like a genie. Here you go, Mochi. It's a treat. You like that. Good girl. Want to treat, Mittens? Come on, Mittens. Treat. Well, if you don't want it, your mother does. Good girl, Mochi. All right, I'm going to end here. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with many good vlogs and other stuff. And, uh, you know, if you know any winning lottery numbers, let me know.
Okay, good night.